Right now, we are learning more about the man arrested for peeping into windows at a Radnor apartment complex. Police say this isn't the first time for Daniel Razanali when it comes to peeping. They say he's done this before, and police believe there may be more victims. Our Jennifer Lee spoke with neighbors who are understandably concerned. Excuse me? Are you Daniel Razionale? Radnor Township Police say Daniel Razionale was arrested this week for allegedly looking into apartment windows and sliding glass doors at this apartment complex on Morris Road on the night of July 5th. That's creepy. Neighbors say the allegations are unnerving. Makes me feel not as safe as I had before I knew this, um, but definitely will make me a little bit more vigilant. Police came to realize this 34 year old suspect had done this before three years ago. Officers were called here to the villas at Bryn Mawr apartment homes. When they arrived, they actually caught him in the act. Mr. Razanale was located to the rear of an apartment complex after we had been receiving several calls over a period of a few days of a suspicious person in the area, possibly videotaping or looking into windows. Now for a second time in Radnor Township, Razionale faces charges including loitering and prowling at night. He was released on a $10,000 unsecured bail, so we went to his home in Ardmore, where at first he denied being Razionale. Um, it looks like you in the photo I just got from police. We wanted to ask you, um, we heard you were arrested for peering into someone's window at the Delmonts. You don't have my permission to, to record or, or give me an interview. Um, would you like to explain uh, what, what you were doing there? Were you looking inside someone's window? Can you please not talk to me? We certainly are concerned that there may be more victims and perhaps unknowing victims as well. Someone who didn't realize that perhaps someone was watching them. Radnor police say if you recognize Razionale, get in touch with their detectives. I hope he realizes that he's invading our privacy and making, you know, making people feel unsafe in their own homes. I mean, if you want to share your side of everything, explain what you were doing there. In Delaware County, Jennifer Lee, Fox 29 News.